thousands of people flocked to Newcastle on Saturday for the Festival of Flight. And yesterday, hundreds more got a close-up look at one of the stars of the air show, the world's last flying Vulcan bomber. BBC Newsline's Mervyn Jess was among them. Another busy Sunday at Belfast International with domestic flights, holiday flights and a Cold War bomber. The Vulcan overnighted at Aldergrove after starring in the Festival of Flight at Newcastle on Saturday. Along with the Red Arrows and a range of other aircraft, it wowed the tens of thousands of people packed along the seafront. Yesterday, hundreds more got a closer look at the jet parked up at Belfast International Airport. Among them, a Lurgan man who last saw the Vulcan here at Aldergrove when he was a boy. I was four years old, you know, and it, even then, you know, I've got my four-year-old with me today, and he absolutely is mad about it. He's got the models, he's got the posters up in his bedroom, you know, and it's, I think it just shows how much fascination it holds with people, even now, for an aircraft that, you know, first flew in 1956, you know, it's incredible. We, we could only handle 400 people in the time that was available. We opened uh, the uh, uh, application process on the website at five o'clock. By 20 to six, we had the 400 people. If we'd left it open for another few hours, it'd have been thousands. The Belfast-born pilot says bringing the Vulcan home has been very emotional. Very proud, yep. Um, tears in my eyes, lumps in my throat, although that could have been the curry I had the night before. But uh, yeah, we'll be back. And that will be music to the ears of aircraft enthusiasts, which are still ringing from the roar of the takeoff. Mervyn Jess, BBC Newsline, Belfast International Airport. And the Red Arrows are here as well. Now let's get the latest on all of the sports news. Gavin.